Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over the DAC GUI interface along with creating our first animation. Uh, if you remember from the previous tutorial, we created this base scene. Now the next thing we're going to need to do is actually animate it. In order to animate it, we're going to actually have to create an animation function. So the first thing we're going to have to do in order to do that is start and create our actual function itself, which is going to call the uh, request animation uh, frame feature. So let's go ahead and go ahead and create that. All right, so what we're going to do, just so you can see this in action, is actually create a quick little animation. And this is just going to rotate the cube along the X axis, just so you can see this thing in action. All right, so what this is doing is basically adding a, a, plus, a plus 0.1 increment to the rotation of the cube itself. And we can take a look at that real quick after we add the request animation frame. So this is the actual function that we're calling request animation frame render and then renderer dot render scene comma camera. All right, so that's the function. Now we have to actually call the function. So let's just go ahead and call that right up here. And this will actually call it render. So ideally, if this works, we'll just go ahead and hit save. And we'll refresh this and we should see a little rotation. Why don't we go ahead and move the cube up slightly along the Y axis so it doesn't go straight through that plane. All right, there we go. All right, and again, we can continue adding these. Uh, let's, why don't we change this around? We'll just copy and paste these a couple times over so we can see all the different actions. All right, so we'll just change this to Y, and we'll change that one to Z. And then I'm gonna comment out this one. And we'll comment out this one. And we'll go ahead and comment this one out as well. All right, so now if we hit save, we'll be able to look at the rotation on the Y axis. And you can see again, that's spinning from the middle. And then if we comment this one out, and now you can see the rotation on the Z axis. All right, so that's great. So we have our rotating cube. The next thing we're going to need to do actually is to control this from the viewport itself. Um, as we get build things that are more and more complex, we're going to need lots of controls. And the easiest way to do that is using the DAC GUI interface. So let's go ahead and get that from the Google source. All right, so we're going under Google Code. We'll grab the minified source. We'll save the link content. And we'll just save it to our WAMP folder under the WebGL JS. So we'll just save that place. All right, next thing we need to do is actually call is actually to call it. So we'll just do that right up here. Oop, and a little typo right there. So we're just gonna copy paste this. And indent that. All right, so that's the dat dot GUI dot min dot JS. All right, great. Okay, so that's called now. All right, so let's add that to our scene. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to actually set up the controls for it. So we'll do GUI controls equals new function. This dot rotation x equals 0 0.01. All right, perfect. So we just called that. So what this does is it says that when we call the GUI controls, that it's going to affect these three variables, X, Y, and Z. So it's going to allow those to shift um, by those increments. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up the dot GUI. So dot GUI equals new 
dot GUI. All right, so that call that creates the variable, or I'm sorry, that creates a variable for the dot GUI. And now dot GUI uh, dot add. All right, so now we're going to add those controls. And then this is, this is actually the, the values that it can be between. So 0 to 1 should be fine for our purposes. And then we'll just copy and paste that three more times for all the other ones. So copy. Okay, so that sets up the GUI interface for us. Go ahead to hit save, and we should be good to go. All right, uh, now I'm going to go, oop, one last thing. We actually have to uh, change the, we have it set up right now, but it's not doing anything because we haven't set those values down here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right. So now what we need to do is actually set those values by using the GUI controls dot rotation x. And we'll do the same thing for these three. All right, so now if you take a look at this, what's happening right here? is your GUI controls feeding the this information in directly down into here and then this is setting up everything the, um, the this interface right here let's go ahead and save on that hit refresh all right look at this it's all up and working now so you can shift all these values from zero to one Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Again, we'll be going into more detail. Uh, next tutorial, we'll be looking at lights and how we can, what are all the different types of lights and how they can be used in our scene. And thanks again, and don't forget to subscribe.